Hey, future doctors, let's dive into the male reproductive system today. We'll break it down step by step so you'll be well prepared for your exams and clinical practice. First up, the testes. These are the two oval shaped organs housed in the scrotum. They produce sperm and testosterone. The sperm production happens in the seminiferous tubules tiny coiled tubes within the testes. Next, let's talk about the epididymis. This is a long coiled tube that sits on top of each testis. Sperm mature here for about 14 days, gaining motility and the ability to fertilize an egg. From the epididymis, sperm travel through the vas deferens, this muscular tube propels sperm forward during ejaculation. The vas deferens loops around the bladder and meets the seminal vesicles. The seminal vesicles are glands that produce a significant portion of the semen. Their secretions include fructose, which provides energy for sperm. Next, the sperm and seminal fluid mix in the ejaculatory ducts. The prostate gland is another key player. It surrounds the urethra just below the bladder and adds more fluid to the semen. This fluid contains enzymes, prostate-specific antigen, PSA, and zinc. The prostate's secretions help to liquefy semen enhancing sperm motility. Don't forget the bulborethral glands, also known as Cowper's glands. These are two small glands located below the prostate. They secrete a pre-ejaculate fluid that neutralizes acidity in the urethra. Finally, the urethra. This tube runs from the bladder through the penis, carrying urine and ejaculate out of the body. Remember, the male urethra serves double duty. It's part of both the urinary and reproductive systems. So there you have it, a quick overview of the male reproductive system. Keep studying hard and you'll master this essential anatomy in no time. Good luck and see you in the next video.